Today on Papa's Project, we're running our mini split heat pumps to heat the house. Right now, we have three of these running. We have our solar panels up on here. We have 14 solar panels on these two pergolas. Along with Sixteen solar panels on those two pergolas over there for a total of 30 solar panels running too many splits and then we have these 12 panels up against this back wall and you can see there's shade on it and that's also running one mini split so we're running three mini splits right now heating the house these things are extremely quiet. We have a decibel meter here. And standing about six feet away, you can see it's about 50 decibels. Pretty quiet. Standing about 10 feet away, it's about 43 decibels. Not very loud at all, not compared to your regular air conditioner on your house. Now, inside, we have this mini split running up there. It's only 46 decibels standing about five or six feet away. Now, these things are putting out some nice heat. When I fire up my main air conditioners on the house, after about 10 minutes, they're only putting out about 90 degrees heat. But these are putting out, I'm trying to get that on the screen for you. It is, I don't know if you can see on there, but it's 111 degrees. We can see we're running those two mini split heat pumps right now. And there's still 46.5 volts in the winter time. So we're able to run that. Now here's another mini split, one of the, the third one we're running. And we're running this out in the garage. Now we've insulated our garage out here with one and a half inch foam along the walls. And over there we have three inches of foam on the door. We put one layer on of one and a half and then we put another layer on after that. We even have it insulated up there. So, right now, it's about 72 degrees in the garage. And we have two of the heat pumps working off of this one, like I said. And then we have this other one working off of those 12 solar panels on the wall you can see on a 48 volt system we have 54 volts we're charging at and we're running 925 watts on that mini split and that is actually this one right here that we're running off of that as we're in the living room we're running these two right here now as they reach the temperature the um mini split heat pump will slow down the motor and will drop actually if we take a look at this over here we can see what our usage is see on one of them we're using about a kilowatt a thousand watts and the other one we're using a little over a kilowatt so between the two 
we're running about two kilowatts of power there. And that's coming off of, like I said, one of these is on the array with the 14 panels and the other one is on the array with the 16 panels. Over here, we're about ready to fire up our third mini split. This is a 24 volt system and we have four of these 2400 watt, 24 volt inverters running, charging these batteries right now. And we're going to fire up our fourth mini split and get that going to heat the upstairs. So it's uh, nice and toasty in here, considering it's pretty cold outside. And even in the wintertime, when that sun is really low in the southern sky, and all these panels, except for that back wall, are sitting flat on top of those pergolas, we're still being able to produce enough power to run these mini splits. And considering these are used 250 watt poly panels that I was able to get between 30 and $38 a piece, that's pretty good. So we didn't spend a lot on our solar panels. We have, um, all of our solar panels are used. We don't have any new ones that we're running on any of this stuff off right now. So it's a pretty good price to pay 30 to $38. And that's no tax on solar in my state. So when I go and pick these up, it's $38. It's $38 out the door for each panel. So they work great. I've had no problem with them. Um, since I'm doing this off-grid, there was really no reason to purchase brand new panels since they're going to be outside. But just to show you, in the wintertime, you can uh, keep your main air conditioners, um, heat pumps from running and heating your house and use all your mini splits to run your solar. And these mini splits are really efficient. Um, you saw the temperatures coming out of there after running my main air conditioners. Like I said, I was getting about 90 degrees and that was after running for 10 minutes as we're with these getting up to 111 degrees. The difference between these heat pumps and the main one I have on my house is these will not dry out your air. Um, like the main air conditioners do. These don't do anything to the humidity in your house. Um, although they do draw some of the humidity out, they don't pull a lot of humidity out. Um, and it's amazing that when it's 44 degrees outside, they can produce 70 degrees more in heat than the outside temperature. So it's able to keep that electric bill 75% cheaper by doing this off-grid and that's saving quite a bit of money over three thousand dollars a year so hey if you like please subscribe and like the videos and come back and see us and we're going to be doing more and more videos and show you how you can save money running off-grid solar to help reduce your electric bill at home you have a wonderful and blessed day, and we'll see you soon.